Bolt hole circles are commonly machined features. The bolt circle command makes them easy to create. I'll use this option to create the bolt holes for the motor mount, whose drawing is included. First, I'll activate the bolt circle command from the wireframe ribbon. I'll be prompted to enter the base point, which will be the center of the bolt hole circle. I'll use the fast point option and start typing 0, negative 5, then press the enter key to establish the center of my bolt hole circle. On the left is my bolt circle panel, and I'll have a preview of the geometry in the graphics area. Currently, I'm too zoomed in, so I'll right-click in the graphics area and fit the geometry to the screen. If I've entered the center of the bolt hole pattern wrong, I can select the base point icon here and correct its location. Next, I'll enter the bolt hole circle diameter of 3.465 here. Again, I'll right-click in the graphics area and fit the geometry to the screen so it can be seen. I do not want a full circle, so I'll select the partial circle option, then enter 9 as the number of holes. I actually only want 7, but for now I need to count the two holes which will be deleted. If this was a full circle, there would be 16 holes evenly spaced, so for the angle between holes, I'll enter 360 divided by 16 to get 22.5 degrees as the angle between holes. The start angle is 0 since the first hole is located in the x-axis at y0, and Mastercam measures angles starting from the positive horizontal axis, working counterclockwise. In the Create Entities section, I'll create points and arcs. For the diameter of the arcs, I'll enter 0 0.277. I'll also enable the creation of a center point. This will put a center point at the center of the bolt hole circle. If I were to select the Reference Circle option, then a circle will be created with its center at the center of the bolt hole circle, and its radius would be the bolt hole circle radius. I do not want this option, so I'll uncheck it. If I enable the rotary axis option, then I can choose to rotate the hole pattern about the X, Y, or Z axis. I do not want this, so I'll uncheck the rotary axis. If the hole pattern is not going in the correct direction, I can flip it with this option. I also do not want the second and the seventh hole, so under Modify, I'll select Remove, select these two holes to remove them, and then press the Enter key to end my selection. If I accidentally removed a hole that I wanted, I can select the Reset option to bring them back. I'll remove these two holes again. In any Mastercam window when there is a blue check mark with a cross on it, if I select it, all of the window settings will be applied and I can continue to use the command. In this case, if I apply these settings, I can then start to create another bolt hole circle. Since I do not want to create another bolt hole circle, I'll select OK to apply my setting and exit the command. The holes look good, so I'll save my work as Motor Mount Version 2.